Hey, my name is Dr. Augustine. Today we're going to be talking about bloating and heartburn. You should not ignore these symptoms. You should really notice them if they're progressing and staying the same and then do something about it. You need to find out why. Let me tell you why. So let's just say that you start off, you have some bloating because you had a big meal. Okay, not a big deal. It was just a big meal, too much to process. So you had some bloating. Bloating is, is basically you have a lot of pressure in your abdomen after a meal. It can, you can feel like your, your tummy is just huge, like it's just sticking out so far. That's bloating. Let's say you go to day two and similar process. You eat some food, maybe it's a smaller meal, but yet you still have bloating. Maybe day three, four, maybe it's been seven days. I had this lady in recently who had chronic bloating and chronic digestive issues. And now though, when she finally came into me, she's actually into autoimmune disease already. So this process can lead you into future health and, and disease processes. So the sooner you can discover this, the better. So pretty soon after a month, two months, you just have this chronic bloating. What is going on? And some root causes can be too much stress that shuts down your digestive enzyme production. So you're not having enough digestive enzymes produce when you eat your food and therefore undigested foods, your immune system's attacking and saying, what in the world is this? And it can cause that inflammation, that bloating. Can also be gallbladder dysfunction, lack of bile flow because we eat too much processed food and or drink too much coffee and or soft drinks that can thicken our bile and that can make us bloat. Eventually though, this problem continues and we can get diverticulitis where our, our, basically our colon, our large intestines inflamed we can get small intestinal leaky gut, which means that we're eating, let's just say, for example, wheat, because who doesn't like bread out there? Just about all of us do. We eat wheat, wheat is sprayed with glyphosate. Glyphosate destroys the lining of our small intestine where all those foods and undigested foods can fall into our bloodstream where our immune system is really strong and robust. And then it starts to attack that, but then at the same time, it's looking at it and saying, hey, you know what? That undigested food there looks just like your kidneys and your liver, and now it's lupus. Or gosh, it looks just like your thyroid, and now it's Hashimoto's. So this is the process in where it can, it can actually develop into an autoimmune disease. What about cancer? Glyphosate is also linked to cancer, causing lymphoma. That leaky gut left leaky, and you're not knowing that you have leaky gut, can all these chemical toxins from our foods can also fall into our bloodstream and cause an, an array of other, other types of cancers. So really important, if you can catch this early on is the real key to this, catch these symptoms early on and try to discover what's causing these problems and then do something about that, you're not gonna end up where most of my patients, where I see people, they're coming in already through this process, they have chronic digestive issues, heartburn, leaky gut, bloating, all these types of problems, and then they're also into autoimmune disease. Don't go there. Start off early, discover your symptoms, and if it's hanging out, if it's chronic now, definitely try to find the root cause behind these problems. So let's talk about solutions to heartburn and bloating. First off, heartburn or indigestion as well. Great thing is, of course, you want, as, a, as a root foundational support product would be Zypan, hydrochloric acid, so you can effectively digest your proteins and then you don't get that heartburn coming back up. But if that doesn't work, you can try Gastrex. Gastrex is like pouring water on a fire. It's, oh, it's just so nice. It just really puts the fire out. Another product that's really good is something called HPLR, which helps to deal with something called H. pylori. They can cause stomach ulcers, heartburn, indigestion, and even gastric cancer. You don't want that bad bug in your stomach. On the other side of things, for bloating, you can also use some of those enzymes plus supporting your gallbladder because your gallbladder is a super common reason for bloating. And taking something called AF beta food or beta food, there's two different products, beta food or AF beta food, it helps to thin your bile so that your bile flows better and doesn't get stuck in the bile ducts and therefore it gives you bloating, gives you pain, all that terrible thing. So I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. My name is Dr. Augustine. I'm on social media, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram, as well as TikTok. Have a great day.